Hi, Year 10. Uh, Mr. Smith here. Uh, this is a new experience for me. I know I did an assembly uh, just before we broke up, but this is a completely new experience to be videoing myself here and talking to you at the same time. So let's uh, let's crack on. So uh, hello, everyone. Hope you're okay, doing all right in uh, in lockdown. Um, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, actually, it's surviving lockdown. Down. So um, this, this is what we're going to be talking about in terms of how you can get the best out of your time at home, um, how we can support you uh, and make sure that you're getting online for all your lessons. So without any further ado, does anyone feel like we've done this before? Well, I, I know I do. Um, we've, we've been through this um, quite a lot this last uh, 12 months um, and we've, we've just got to keep going basically. Um, we're, we're much better equipped as a school now to provide you with um, lessons online with your work so this should feel a little bit more like you, you've been supported by school uh, as opposed to last time where you were just getting work sent and, and some people were accessing some people weren't so fingers crossed we'll be in a situation where you're getting more done particularly now we've gone online from this week in terms of your timetable um, obviously things have changed slightly so what's different well the weather this time uh, in this lockdown is, is much more um, unsuitable for getting out and getting exercise done and, and all those sorts of things. You'll find you're getting more lessons, um, but there's probably less confusion about what's expected of you in lockdown now um, compared to the first time that we had it because obviously we've been been through this before. So hopefully everyone's surviving lockdown um, and we can uh, try our very best to, to support you as we go through. So how might you be feeling? Well, I know that I'm feeling frustrated and stressed, particularly stressed trying to get all my online lessons prepared, be there for my classes. Um, you might be feeling a bit bored at home. Um, you might be feeling like, because you've got nothing to do outside, it, it, you're overwhelmed with what you've got to do in school work. You feel a bit unmotivated, you're a bit fed up with what's going on. Um, some of you might be relieved not to be in school. Um, so it's, it's really important that we, we help each other and we, we feel supported. Um, as, as members of year 10 but also as members of the school community and we're going to try and show how we can help each other um, and, and do the best we can. Okay so how do you deal with your emotions so if you, if you get stressed about things what are the sorts of things that you can do because the, the more you get stressed about things the more it tends to build up and one thing can become a massive thing if you leave it and don't deal with it so we're going to go through uh, sort of 10 top tips of how you can make sure while you're in uh, lockdown that you're keeping um, your emotions intact but also that you, you're dealing with them as you go through so 10 top tips so get into a good routine so this is hopefully having your online lessons that's going to help you with um, your routine during the day because I know some of you this first couple of weeks haven't been getting out of bed you've been in bed till lunchtime mid-afternoon and then trying to do some work in the afternoon the early evenings even late at night and over messages on teams at ridiculous hours in the morning so getting into a good routine where you're actually following a timetable during the school day will hopefully help you out and give you that structure that you need um, getting yourself some to-do list I know that's really helped me um, writing down at the start of each day or at the end of the day before what I've got to do if I've got any work that I need to complete and what time I've got to complete it by can really help so writing down lists of, of things you've got to do um, getting some exercise done um, lots of exercise uh, uh, benefits um, on your mental health as well as your, as your physical health uh, the NHS um, say that you should look to aim for an average of at least 60 minutes of moderate intensity of physical activity a day across the week so trying to do something where you might get out for a walk or, or go for a little run or, or just exercise in your back garden or in your yard if you've got those spaces to do it in can really help you feel a lot better about yourself um, and obviously it, it, it helps your mental health as well as your, your physical health so that's, that's really good to do as well having a balanced diet not eating a load of chocolate not eating a load of crisps uh, you know, fizzy drinks, energy drinks, all those sorts of things. Try and get it right so that you're eating the right amount of uh, proteins, carbohydrates uh, and fats in your, in your, your diet so that you, you feel healthier. Eating healthier food, foods helps you feel more healthy. Um, simple really. Uh, and alongside that, keeping hydrated. So drinking uh, 10 glasses of water a day or equivalent to water. It doesn't have to be water, obviously you can have some juice or something like that. But keeping yourself hydrated helps your mental uh, your well-being as well as your physical well-being uh, but also helps you stay concentrated and focused uh, throughout the day limit your screen time obviously we're trying to ask you to, to get online to, to do your lessons um, so we do want you to have some screen time and make sure that that screen time that you are having is is worthwhile 
Um, so on for your lessons. Yes, have some social time on screen times because you're not able to socialise with your friends as you would normally do. But try and limit that and don't go on it too late at night. Um, get some you know, good sleep. Uh, limit the amount of news uh, that comes in because a lot of the news is negative. Um, so try and keep positive. Um, stay away from too many uh, COVID related uh, news bulletins that might come through to your phone, you might see on TV or whatever channels that you, you watch on, on the internet. So really try and limit the amount of news that's coming into your particularly negative news. Uh, keep talking to your friends, to your family, however that may be. If you Obviously your family uh, will be within your household so you can talk them face to face. But yeah, do keep talking to your friends. Uh, keep that social element of your life going on because that's really, really important. Um, ask for help if you need it, particularly if you teachers with your schoolwork. Don't be afraid to ask those questions. So when you're on the live lessons and you, you're in the chats, um, if you if you're stuck with your work, make sure you you ask the question uh, if you need help. Uh, don't just sit back and, and wait for someone to to give you the answer. Actually, go out and and ask for it and and ask for the help to support you to do your work. And then finally, make sure you're supporting others. Um, you might feel okay about the whole situation. You might be all right at working from home. You might be uh, feeling good about it, but other people don't. So make sure that you're talking to your friends, you support other people when they need it. And um, you might have brothers and sisters who are going through a, you know, a difficult time as well, uh, particularly if, you're, if you, you know, you're limited on the access to the technology that you've got. So make sure that you, you're talking to each other, you're supporting each other, uh, and let's work as a, as a family together as, as, as Warthead Academy. There is support available through school. Um, obviously, you can go onto the school website, um, contact, you can speak to your tutor via Microsoft Teams. Um, you can email people during your weekly tutor phone, phone calls that you're getting, you'll be able to speak to someone. Um, you can contact your year team, so you can contact me or Miss Harper, um, and we'll try and deal with any issues that you've got. Uh, you can also report any issues or concerns that you have on the school website. Like I say, you need to select students on the home bar, select my year group from the drop down menu and click report a concern and then submit the document. You really can't see it on this PowerPoint, but it brings up a little form for you to fill in. And it, when, you, when you press submit, it'll come through to myself um, and I think it, it's me and maybe Miss Harper. And then we can deal with, with any issues that you've got. Um, there are other areas, uh, that, well, other supports available, cooth.com um, and Shouts, um, all there to support uh, and give you advice um, on things that you might be going through. So if you feel like uh, school can't support you or you want to go somewhere else to look for support, then there are uh, those options available. Uh, and there are others out there as well, but these are the two that we, we have on the school website and that we use quite regularly. Okay, we're going to start talking about people that have really got in, in you know, really done well so far uh, in lockdown and got engaged the work that's been set by the teachers so all the the students that come up on this uh list now from the subjects are those that have really got involved so far um in the the lockdown work that's been set um, obviously we're hoping for more engagement over the next few weeks when we start doing the the regular lessons um but this is going off what has been sent in so far so we'll go through each subject that have nominated uh and then we'll uh, we'll congratulate uh, each one of you so we'll start with english in english it's ben Ayres. well done ben uh, in EAL, um, it is Alani Gurgle. Well done, Alani. Well done there. Um, in Maths, we've got Peace. Well done, Peace. Science, he says. He won't come through. Apparently, there's no one in Science that wants to do it. I don't know why that's not moving. Technology for you, that. I don't know why that's working, not going on at all. Try and click it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Ignore that bit. I'm going to keep it in. Why not? Why edit it? Uh, Kaylin Astley, well done in science. Uh, in history, I think I think we've got uh, two in history. We've got Alicia Jabeen and we've got Alina Hussain. Well done. In geography, it's Grace Williams. In MFL, it's Sophie Willoughby. In enterprise, it's Adyan Abubakar. In art, we've got Aris Ahmed. In photography, Alia Turner. In music, it's Ifra Parveen. In iMedia, it's uh, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, Aliba Nassar. Samia Fahim for ethics. In food, it's Kai Evans. In computer science, it's Sufyan Ali. In business, it's Brooke Barker Lowe. In PE, it's Oliver. 
So in health and social care, we've got two awards this week. We've got Sana Hussein and Cameron Hall. So really well done to everyone who has been nominated by the teachers for engaging in the work over the past week. So um, all that remains from me is, is to say to you, have a great week, work as hard as you possibly can, um, engage in your lessons. Um, and if you've got any uh, issues whatsoever, please get in contact with either myself, Miss Harper, your form tutor. Uh, we're all here at school to support you. So uh, please uh, contact us if you need to. And I'll speak to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.